Hello, Klaus here, and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. It's Christmas time, or at least it's Christmas time if you are a content creator or filmmaker, because it's time for this year's NAB. And in this video, we are going to have a look at some of the new things from Blackmagic Design. So without further ado, let's just have a look at what they announced at the press conference. So the presentation was presented in classical Blackmagic style, calm and cool and collected. And there was a lot of different things. For instance, we had the Blackmagic Video Hub, which is a new hub for video, I guess. I don't know a lot about it. Also a D-Link card was announced and a Blackmagic ATEM Television Studio 8K. Well, what I was for this presentation for was, of course, for the uh, reveal of DaVinci Resolve 19, which were not announced because we didn't go quite to 19 yet, but um, announced was the beta version of 18.5, and it has some pretty good features. Also, some of the things I was talking about in the last video, for instance, like audio caption and audio transcribing, which is going to help a lot when doing videos and subtitles. Pretty good, a new upscale feature and a bunch of new features in the cut page. For instance, stuff like split edits, so you can more or less make a J and L cuts super fast when you're on the cut page. Also a new tool called the timeline options, so you can do different things in the timeline on the cut page. Again, I'll go into more details with all of these things in upcoming videos, so this is just a quick overview anyway. Of course, also now in the cut page you can do subtitles, so you don't have to leave the, that page actually to do subtitles which is kind of good, automated subtitles in the cut page. What's not to like? Also, there is some new stuff in Fusion. There is a multi-merge node, so you can kind of merge more nodes together and control them in the inspector. Again, I'll go into detail about that. Also, the depth map is now also in Fusion. It's a super awesome tool, and it's nice to have that in Fusion as well. In the color page, we got the new relight effect, which is essentially is an effect where you can relight your shots adding in artificial lights, I guess, and use mask and magic mask and stuff like that to make that look even better. Again, going to go into this in detail in another video. Blackmagic also announced a new update for the pocket cameras. It's the update 8.1, and this is going to be primarily for vertical shooting. So basically you can now move your camera and the screen will adjust to however you're holding your camera so you can do vertical videos and of course you can also lock that feature if you do not want to do that at all. Again, uh, the update should be out very soon and I'm going to play around with the update as soon as I'll be back at the studio. Also, there was an NG kit for the broadcaster Ursa. Also, a new camera was announced. It was the Ursa 12K, but it's not really a new camera, it's more like new version of the old camera, which is kind of cool. And also a Blackmagic Cloud Dock storage solution. Again, not much to say about this at this certain time yet, but I'll look into it and figure out what it's all about later, I guess. So overall, this was all of the stuff coming from the Blackmagic NAB presentation. I do hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.